what is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the redmi k20 pro and today in this video i'm gonna be showing you the latest pixel extended rom on this device and let me show you which build is this as you can see from here this is the pixel extended android 11 based rom and this is the 20 january 2021 build the latest one as of right now of course it includes the gapps in the build itself and this is based on MIUI vendor as of right now i'm not flashing the oss vendor based rom so yes, this is a MIUI vendor based ROM as it's listed over here and the fingerprint stuff over here is the LOS FOD, not the Mi 9 FOD. So I have flashed this ROM with the MIUI 12.0.4 vendor because my device is an Indian Redmi K20 Pro. Now let me show you the about section. This is how it looks like which does very cool animation I would say and this pixel extended looks very cool on the top right here and the Android version is like Android 11 of course as you are noticing. Let me go back, the Pixel Extended version is 2.3 and let me tell you this ROM is also available for the Redmi Note 7 Pro and I'll list it below in the description if you wanna download it. And of course for the Redmi K20 Pro I'll list it too. And the security patch of this ROM is of latest January 5th 2021 and the stock kernel here is the Perf G kernel. The build date again 20 January and the build number you can see it from here. I would say everything of this ROM is very simplistic. And I have been really enjoying this ROM a lot because it is very very simple in every settings. The stock launcher is of course the Pixel launcher as you would expect on a Pixel ROM or Pixel extended ROM. And we have this Google's Discover page on the left side of the home screen. And swipe me up gets you to the app drawers, typical Pixel launcher. And you can swipe down to get the quick settings or the notifications panel here. Very cool. And we have like the widgets and stuff. Everything is working over here. I have tested those and I have been daily driving with this ROM for about two days now and I would say my experience has been great so far. Now the only downside coming from Evolution X on this ROM I would say is the ANX camera is missing and you get this Google camera go edition and you can take basic pictures with this camera it is a pretty simplistic camera and the front camera and stuff everything is working as you are noticing here. You can also take videos and stuff it shows like for how long you can take videos so that works. And you can take portrait mode photos too with this Google camera too. So that is great. And there is the face retouching kind of thing over here, which adds a little bit of smoothness to your face and stuff with this settings. So yeah, this works fine. I have also installed the Google camera 7 here, which is the Unix version. And as you can see with this, you can switch between lenses as you are noticing. This is the main camera and you can switch to the wide angle lens. And then we have the telephoto lens. So yes, everything is working fine with this Google Camera 7 Unix version and you can install it from the card right there if you can find it. And talking about the quick settings panel, this is how it looks like. Well, yes, if you go into the edit section, you will find that this ROM does not have too much toggles like the Evolution X or something. But yes, the options as you are noticing are very limited here and you will find the basic ones. But definitely there are some toggles missing which are like the FPS info and stuff or the reboot option or the reboot toggle, they, those kind of toggles are simply missing from this kind of edit section, you will find that. But yes, there is the Android 11 screen recorder, let me show you. You can record the device audio and the microphone audio at the same time with this kind of settings. So yes, this screen recorder should work fine here. And there is a bedtime mode, anti-flicker or DC dimming. So yes, these things are there. Now this is how the settings looks like and here on the top, we will find this Pixels Den so I'll show the customizations part later on, but let me show you the other stuff right now. First, let me jump into the system. So here is how it looks like. And as you can see, it shows these kind of animations everywhere in the settings. And if you scroll down, you won't find any system updater. Yes, there is the developer option. I turned it on. In the gesture settings, there is the system navigation gestures. But here, even if you go into the settings, as you can see, you cannot simply increase the size of this pill bar. So yes, there are some limitations here and there is the haptic feedback. You can turn it on for like going back and stuff. You can enable that. And there is a two button and three button navigation too, if you wanna use those. There is the swipe to screenshot. And as you can see, it works flawlessly. You can edit, share or delete them from here if you want to. Let me go back and here we have the quickly open camera and stuff. That's it. And in the power menu, let me show you. There is the sensitive content and the device controls. The advanced reboot settings is not there, but let me show you in the power menu. As you can see, there is the restart option. So if you tap on it, there is the directly rebooting option to system or recovery. And if you tap on the three dots, there is the like directly rebooting option to bootloader or just a hot reboot. So yes, advanced reboot is there actually. Now in the pop-up camera settings, in the sounds, you will find these Star Wars sounds too. This is the sound which makes like whenever you are 
opening or using the front camera. So yes, you can use these kind of sounds if you want to. And the stock keyboard over here is Gboard or Google keyboard. Now I'm using a Geo SIM here. And as you can see, we have this Wi-Fi calling option and that is enabled. And that is the reason why there is the Vault E icon. And right there, you will see the Vue Wi-Fi icon. So yes, Vue Wi-Fi or Vault E both are working fine. Let me show you. As you can see, this is how the stock in-call UI looks like. And there it says Wi-Fi call. And as you can see, it works flawlessly, no issues with that. So faulty calling and Wi-Fi calling both are working fine here. But again, in the stock dialer, there is no call recording option. Now let's jump into this pixel stin and here you will find some limited customizations. But yes, for a normal user, I would say these are plenty. There is a vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect. So in call vibration stuff and we have the notification sound if active. And then if you go into this lock screen, here we'll find the lock screen double tap to sleep. And that works fine. Lock screen charging info also shows up on the lock screen. No problems with that. And there is a force fingerprint authentication. Well, I was very interested in this kind of particular feature. And I would say I'm a little bit disappointed with this because this feature, even when it's turned on and right now I am decrypted, but still it does not work. Like after a reboot, it does not show me the fingerprint scanner over here on the like fingerprint scanner area. And even if I tap on it, it does not do anything like it does not simply show you the fingerprint option after a reboot. So you have to enter pin, then it works fine. So this force fingerprint authentication option is kind of useless as of right now, I would say. And in the fingerprint icons, as you can see, there are a plethora of icons that you will find and you will notice the normal stuff like up to these ones. They are pretty similar to other ROMs. But if you scroll down, as you can see, they are pretty cool, like Spider-Man, this kind of hacker and then Iron Man stuff over here and then Captain America logo and stuff. Everything is there, these cartoon kind of logo and they look pretty cool in the lock screen. I will show you the lock screen stuff later on. But here, as you can see, there is also this fingerprint pressed icon. So that is cool. And if you scroll down, there is also this FOD animation. And here you can change these animations to up to like a lot of options as you find it on Evolution X or any other ROM. As you can see, plethora of options are there. If you are noticing the Cyberpunk 2077 is still there and I am using it, it works fine. Now in the status bar section, we have the Vault E icon and there is the view only icon or other Vault E icons. You can choose from these many the plethora of Vault E icons that you will find. Then we have the VO Wi-Fi icon. I have this icon enabled. And if you open this VO Wi-Fi icon style, as you can see, you can choose from these many VO Wi-Fi icons. So yes, you can customize the Vault icons as well as the view Wi-Fi icons. That is really great. And we have the show notification count. And if you scroll down, we have the status bar double tap to sleep. That works fine. One thing I'm really missing that whenever I'm plugging in a headset, it does not show me a headset icon over here. And in the settings and in the customizations, there is no option to actually get the status bar icons over here. Like I'm in this pixels 10. And as you can see, there is no option to actually change the status bar icons like the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, etc. icons which you can disable and the headset icon too like stays there. That is simply not here. And we have the vibrate on toggle touch, the quick setting toggles. You can enable it if you like it. And in the hardware settings, we have this enable advanced restart. So yes, you can enable advanced restart from here, not in the system. And we have the screen of power button torch that works fine and playback control. Then we have this volume panel style changing option. By default, the volume panel looks like this as you are noticing and you can choose it to compact or something if you want to, as you can see, and you can choose it to tiled option. This is how it will look in tiled option and the audio style is also there. And okay, so the audio style is coming up over here. All right, so right now it has switched as you can see, you can increase or decrease the volume from here too. So this looks really cool, it comes on the top. So yes, I like this. Now in the battery settings, this is how it looks like. And if you wanna see the full battery usage, you can just tap here and you will see the full battery usage from here. And there is the optimized profile. As you can see, you can choose per app optimization. Then we have battery saver, adaptive battery, then battery percentage, and then turn on while charging and stuff option is there. And we have this full charge last about how much, like, or how long. And then we have the screen on time. So I would say in terms of screen on time, this ROM really, really surprised me. You can definitely get seven to eight hours of screen on time easily with this ROM without any issues. That should be fine. And 18 watt first charging also working fine here. Now let me show you the display settings quickly. Here we have this brightness level, dark theme, and there is the nightlight. If you can turn it on and schedule it if you want to. 
then inside styles and wallpapers there are some wallpapers over here and you can get like the live wallpapers too no issues because this is the like google's wallpaper app in the style section you can go to custom and choose any kind of custom fonts and icons then you will get a lot of accent colors as you are noticing plethora of accent colors are here and you can choose from here then from grid you will find up to like 4 by 4 option let me go back and if you scroll down the colors are set to boosted by default then if you scroll down again we have this lock screen option and here we will find the always show time and info this is the always on display of course double tap to wake is working fine and enable blurs i have enabled that pocket detection i have enabled that too and working fine then there is the anti flicker or the dc dimming mode and there we have the accent color picker and from here you can choose any preset over here and you can see how long or how much customizations are there for the accent colors and even there is the evolution x blue evolution x red oxygen OS 11 kind of thing so yeah a lot of accent colors are there no issues with that then you can change the background color to amulet black or bliss clear or one plus dark these kind of options are there the dark blue and stuff everything is there then there is the icon shapes too and if you scroll down there is the status bar icons now in the sound settings this is how it looks like and if you scroll down let me show you there is the me sound enhancer but it is closing right now it will open let me show you one more time as you can see right now it has opened and there is a youth edition standard edition and stuff like that and with this the headphone jack sound quality is great and even while you are using bluetooth devices like the redmi air dots that's fine so the sound quality is great over here overall and there is a hi-fi audio preset too if you want to use that you can disable the screenshot sound touch sound touch vibration and stuff then screen locking sound etc you can disable or enable them as you like it now in the security of course there is a fingerprint option and the face unlock option right now let me just quickly show you the fingerprint scanner speed and here what i like is that from the always on display if i tap the fingerprint scanner this animation is very very bright if you notice that let me show you one more time it is very very bright it looks cool i would say in the always on display whenever i'm unlocking it but as i have pocket detection mode enabled as you can see i'm on the always on display right now so here if i cover the top of the display this text long press power button to interact and stuff like if your device somehow gets blocked like the top part gets blocked this text is quite bright so this is what i do not like but other than that this bright animation from the always on display looks really cool and the fingerprint scanner of course works super fine here right now let me show you from this lock screen and again it works fine let me show you one more time with my left hand thumb it works fine now let me show you with night light turned on from the always on display took some time but it unlocked let me try one more time now it unlocked fine now let me try from the lock screen okay so it did not work again did not work now it did so from the lock screen again as you can see with night light turned on it unlocks again so the fingerprint scanner here is very reliable but it did not unlock for twice like while well, i'm showing you guys but in normal daily usage i never faced this does not unlock or something it unlocked always now let me just set up the face unlock so right now as you can see if i double tap to wake it unlocks automatically let me show you one more time I just double tap on the always on display and it detects my face and it unlocks. Now from the face unlock settings you can turn off these options like skip lock screen and stuff. So yes if I disable that. So still it like pops out the front camera and unlocks. Okay so it freezes the screen over here so if you swipe up then only it will be redirected to the home screen. But yes why would you turn it off it just like a swipe away. So yeah, not a really useful thing because I would have loved to see the option to actually like if I swipe up then only it will unlock with the face unlock. So that feature is not there, it just like pops out the front camera then unlocks for you whenever you double tap on the always on display. Right now let me talk about some normal stuff like the DRM info and things like that. But here let me tell you my DRM info shows L3 because I have broken my DRM thing because I flashed the persist image but it will be showing L1 right out of the box for you if you have not broken it. And banking apps like Google Pay should be working fine right out of the box here because this safety net test simply passes right out of the box here. So any banking apps is not a problem in this ROM even if you don't flash Magisk. Now the wallpaper I'm using here is from this Walp app. You can get it from the description down below. So do not worry about that. Now talking about the daily driving performance, let me open a couple of apps and show you by opening them and like the app of no speed and the RAM management you can see from here. Let's open Twitter, Play Store, YouTube. 
now let's open Instagram now let's open Google Home and now let's open some other apps like Flipkart what else should I open okay the safety net and stuff is already open so right now let me open all these apps from memory really sorry because of the background noise let's open YouTube still in memory files still in memory and Instagram still in memory and Google Home yes it is still in memory now let's open Flipkart as you can see it is in memory too so every app stays in memory no issues so far I have had with the memory management here and here are the end to end Geekbench score of this ROM hey Google as you can see it shows up the Google assistant whenever you say that keyword and let me show you one more time hey Google as you can see again Google assistant with the voice search is actually working fine without any issues so that's been it guys about the pixel extended rom i am really liking it and i'm enjoying this rom if you want to flash it you can watch it from the card right there and give this video a thumbs up if you like it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet please share this video with your friends if they have a k20 pro and if they want to rock a pixel rom on their device this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one